Well, hey, Christ the King family, I hope you are doing well. You know, I don't know about you, but I feel like I can sense tension and unrest all around me. It just seems like our country is sitting in a very, very pivotal moment today. And honestly, I don't care what side you're on, uh, as long as you're on the side of King Jesus in the midst of all of this. But I thought it would be important for us to at least say something in these pivotal days here in our country you know, we're on this journey through our spiritual practices, and our practice right now is actually praying scripture. And so this morning, I opened up my email box, and a young lady from our church, thank you very much, Kara, pointed me towards Psalm 29. And I'd love to pray through this scripture with you as we prepare for the next couple of days here in our country. Psalm 29, verses 10 and 11 says, The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people, and the Lord blesses his people with peace. I believe that this is a wonderful time for those of us who name Jesus as king, Lord, and savior of our lives to be praying peace over our country. As people seek answers in, in politics and people we have the answer right at our fingertips. And that, of course, is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so I'd like to invite you today, right in this moment, if you'll just pray with me. If we can be prayerful, I believe that's the most godly and holy response in the midst of all that's happening around us. So would you join me as we pray this scripture together? Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you sit enthroned over the flood. God, the flood of political unrest, the, the flood of anger, the flood of hatred, the, the flood of disunity, God, the flood of a global pandemic, the flood of broken hearts and broken dreams. Lord, you sit enthroned above it as King, Lord, and Savior. So we come today, God, and we appeal to you. We appeal to you as our King, a King who's not just enthroned for a short amount of time, but Lord, a king who is enthroned forever. Lord, your kingdom will never end. Your throne room will always endure. So God, we come and we appeal to you to give strength to your people right now. God, I pray that we would be peacemakers. You said in your word, blessed are the peacemakers. So God, help us to be people who can rise above unrest and connect people back to Jesus the author and the perfecter of our faith. God, give strength to your people. And then we ask, during this difficult season, would you bless your people with peace? God, I pray a covering of peace over your country right now. Lord, as we struggle with so many issues and so many divisive ideologies, God, we come to you and we take a knee before the King of Kings. And we say, Jesus, would you bring your peace? Bring your peace to people who are hurting. Bring your peace to people who are fearful. Bring your peace to people who don't know where to turn, Lord. And we pray that in these moments, they would not turn away from you, but that they would turn towards you. So Jesus, thank you. Thank you for this moment when we can come and bring our request, our anxiety, our petition before you. And thank you, God, that we are heard. We love you. We trust you. We place our future in your hands, knowing that you are Lord over all. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thank you for taking a few moments with me today. I look forward to seeing you this weekend at CTK. We're going to be continuing in our series called Wilderness. I think it's more applicable right now than ever before. God bless you guys. Have an amazing Tuesday. And may the God of peace surround your hearts and may you keep your minds focused on Jesus today. Thanks. God bless.